The playlist containing all of our picks from this episode is in the description. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, welcome. It's hard lore time. What's up, Bo? You know, Colin, <laughs> I was thinking. We did the best breakdowns part one. We did. You know? We did. And it's uh, honestly like the playlist is still going to this day, rising up the ranks, universally acclaimed. And I at the second we wrapped, we were both like, dude. Yeah. I forgot this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly my point, my friend. I, I made this, I looked at like, you know how the, there's like a timestamp on the notes app if you make an, a list? Yeah. This, t- this is the day after that episode went up. I did this entire list. No shit. Yes. And I did mine 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so this I, is. I started it after we wrapped. Right. I did start it, but I, I only had like a few. I was done, dude. <laughs> Completely <laughs> conceptualized and finished that day. Um, but this is. Part two of Hardlore's official master ranking. This is the master list. Yeah, this is the master list. Official. Of this the, time we did 20 each. 20 each Total. of the best breakdowns ever made, ever recorded, ever spin kicked, ever spun kicked, ever and windmilled. Let's let's remind of the criteria that you and I are not individually repeating bands. There mm-hmm. may be a band or two on our current list that the other had on the previous list. And also it doesn't necessarily, we call it a breakdown, but it doesn't, it can be an intro. It can yeah. be a the, part. The, the song like doesn't slaps. need to build to this moment. Right. We, exactly. It's just, you know right. it when you feel it, you know, That's part of the it's a feeling. Um, I, I am not saying a single band I have already said, and I don't think I'm saying a band that Bo has said either. I think, I think, Yeah, I think I'm the same. Which, like, that would make it so easy to just come up here and say 10 different Hatebreed songs every week because that's I could do top 100 Hatebreed breakdowns. I said Slayer, Ghost of War on the list, and it would be very easy to be like Angel of Death. Yeah, oh, easy, Mm -hmm. easy peasy. Um, But I, you know, we started this, the clip for today off with Morbid Angel, Where the Slime Lives, you know? Yeah. So I figure I'll start with that. Okay. (laughs) The first Talk time that the transition from the first time I heard that back to back, honestly, this morbid angel before suffocation, before dying fetus might've been the band for me where I was like, Oh, this is, this is the same thing that hardcore bands are doing just from in a different perspective, you know, really in a different way. Because, like, the lines. end of what's the first song on fucking Coven? Rapture? Mm. The fucking bam, boom, 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 bow, wow, yeah, yeah. wow, wow, boom, is like that's just a hard ass breakdown. Mm. Whether whether they're approaching it from that perspective or not. But where the slime lives is straight up like, how well did it fit to that compilation of crowd killing so that we posted? That should almost be the litmus test of like, if any. If, if either of us are like, I don't know about that part, you play it to that clip and go, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it like, all completely fits. And bow, dum, dum, bow, dum. Mm-hmm. and like, how many bands have stolen from that since? Yeah, I wonder. Not enough, but also <laughs> enough. You know what would be a cool, like, just a cool thing to deep dive on one day is like, where did the use of this dissonant chord come from? Or yeah. the panic chord? Like, where did that start? Ugh. Can we find? I'd love to go back in time and kill that guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can we find the first breakdown? Yeah, it's fucking. It's a down, da 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 yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, I'll kick your ass. How many dude. times did you get that typo negative meme sent to you of that lady? I'm, that? I'm, a, I'm, I, I, I can't even look, pick up my phone anymore. Dude, I, I don't ever like want to see it again. Twenty times. 
How do you not assume I've seen it? <laughs> That's dude. It's been up for a month. I got I got it. You know? I got it. <laughs> Thank you for sending it to me the first day, but after that, you can assume. This came today. This is what pretty cool. I made a post. Where did I put it? Oh, oh it's good. inside. I made a post saying, uh, because I had I have a world coming down poster mm. that is the UK version, which came out September 20th. Oh. In America, it came out oh. September 21st. No shit. So what did I find? No kidding. A world coming down poster, that because this record came out on the same day that I came out of the womb. So I figured it, would, it, it belongs in the office somewhere, you know? Very nice. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Thanks to Love whoever sent me the link. to Somebody was like, this is on Depop right now. Somebody who listens to the show. So I bought it in 10 seconds. So thanks. <laughs> What's your first pick? My first pick is um, Anthrax are not a band that I'm like in love with. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the weakest of the big four, which I say respectively. Yeah, I mean, that's still like, you know, it's still, yeah, it's like. Like Someone's in the scope of the music, you're four. still better. You're still like <laughs> yeah. bigger and better than almost every band ever. When I was kind of first getting into more metallic shit in high school, uh-huh. um, after the punk stuff, uh, somebody gave me Among the Living. Yeah. And like that intro rocks. It does. The, the, the yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Are you about to give it to me? <laughs> uh, I was going to say the... Indians person. Yes, dude. Yeah, that that part is it's insane. It's insane. Have you heard let me ask you this? And the war dance part? Have you heard the re-recorded version? What? No, I don't think so. It's fucking insane. Re- they it's, re-recorded? They re-recorded. I think they re-recorded the whole album with the fucking uh what's the guy? Uh what's the band? Metal Blade. <laughs> Metal Blade band. He uh, sings. Metallic. Amon Amarth. Uh, no. <laughs> the it's Viking a, from Amon Amarth. Old fuckers. Oh, and, Nurgle. And, from, uh, no, not Nurgle, not Nurgle. Old. Oh, Corpse Grinder. <laughs> what's his fucking name? I have no idea. Dude. It starts with an A. Metal Blade. Rock music. Mm-hmm. Second singer of Anthrax, this guy. Oh, oh, they re-recorded it with They him. re-recorded it with this. With I think his other, name is John with, Bush. Without Joey Belladonna. John yeah. Bush is his name, I think. Okay. And it's you good. tell me if I'm wrong, internet. It, dude, I mean, it's like... The fucking re-recorded Indians breakdown yeah. is insane. It's also the it's song one of is, those like ethically. Yes. It's one of those songs where it's like, it's so funny that like they really meant well. Yeah. It's really a song. It, it's kind of like uh run to the hills. It's like a song talking about how yeah, like, yeah. like war dance. Come on, song. right, guys? Yeah, yeah. And then Joey <laughs> Belladonna's wearing a fucking headdress and like yeah. jumping. And it's just like it's one of those things where Obviously, I'm aware of that, but the actual riff the the riff is insane. It, I, the I, I intention like, was good. It's just like times have times have changed, and and yeah. people are more aware of what these things mean now. I couldn't believe it when I first heard it. That it's also funny to think that the the guitar lead part is like it's just like it's just like oh my god. It's it's kind it's like kind of like when a wrestler, a Japanese wrestler, has like yes. an, in America has like bing bong bing. Bong, yeah, bong. Exactly, exactly. Every time it's like they go to Vince McMahon and he's like, well, he's Japanese, pal. <laughs> we let's we make know the, what his music what's, is. What's, okay, what's his character, Vince? Well, he's Japanese. That's, and that's like the whole, that's all they give him. Yeah. He's gonna Harajuku. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hit me with number two. Number two for me is uh, another, I don't have much non-hardcore on here. Mine so are just very hardcore. Heavy I'll just mine. get these out of the way. Misery Index, Retaliate. Dude, hum it. I think I know it exactly. <laughs> Misery Index was so vital to me. Full to t- Taylor was like the Misery Index kid for a while. Like Misery gotcha. Index would be like the fucking kid from California that loves us, you know. Uh. <laughs> and then toured with them when he was very young. Played uh, drums for a band called Crematorium. Right. Um, and like got to tour with essentially one of his favorite bands. So Taylor loving misery index for me was they're 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 associated with dying fetus. It's the same same squad of guys. Got you. So the same they approach death metal with the same perspective, where it's you get these parts that are just like yo, this is just 
cold is life? How are you doing this? So uh, and this this specific part of this song shaped so much of just the way I look at like how like how genres blend, you know? I love that. It's so I, fucking I exactly the, the way that it hits is so hard. So I'm looking forward to uh, when all of you are at the gym or something listening to Hard Lore's Best Breakdowns Volume 2. When this hits, yeah. you're going to hit so many personal records. You're not going to believe it. I didn't hit any personal records today, dude. I That's almost a- dropped the deadlift bar. You know what that means? You did it to failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, great. it's my grip strength, though. That'll it's like my come. hand like gave out. That'll you know? come. I'm going to go. Just... Uh, <laughs> Get a, you, you, what about your little mouse pad you always fucking squeeze while we're recording? This guy? What's no, your next I'll, uh, I'll just get raps. You know, get some saying? raps. Get some rats. What's your next? Um, next one was a band that I can't believe wasn't on. This is one of the... We have a couple that are like, I can't believe I forgot this. This yeah. is a band that like we didn't even mention. That has It's chock full of parts that you wouldn't think you're going to kill to, but you do. A little band called Killing Time. <laughs> oh, my God. Backtrack has an actual oh breakdown God. in it. Yeah. That when I was a kid, I didn't understand how it goes. Because it does like the. Those alternate like the snares, they, yeah. they trick your brain when you're yes. a new a new listener to this. Because, okay, so when you're yes, approaching you're, hardcore exactly. and as a new listener, you're like, what am I supposed to do to each part? Like you yeah. think that there's co- little codes written in for like what exactly. you're supposed to do. Now you realize the, every song you can watch the whole song you do what you want there's no rules it's really the kick drum it's not the yeah, snare no you know and uh but the one step forward one step forward <laughs> yeah amazing perfect um, record one of the best records ever written by any band by any band right side dude perfect demo like the raw deal demo is unbelievable telltale's unbelievable yeah. fools dies un- like <laughs> killing time is so fucking awesome. Possibly, I, I, like I say, yeah, I'm on the quarrel? I'm in the bright side is better than Age of Quarrel camp. You know, I think, um, or at least like if I'm if I'm sitting it's down a discussion, yeah, if I'm sitting down, and it's like I have to listen to one or the other. I've heard Age of Quarrel more times for cumulatively, yeah, for sure. so I guess I'm putting on bright side first. But gun to my head, mm. I'm saying, sir, please. Put bright side on. Put the gun Angel down. Coral has a couple skips for me. B side skips that are like not that great. See, I wouldn't. Like, I um, wouldn't even say that. I just think bright side is like all meat. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. There's no skips on bright side. Mm. Bah, tuck me on my back. It's just like right to uh, so My next good. pick, Bowen. Yeah. We're getting into HC territory. I have one more. Two more non hardcore bands. So the rest is just, if you're in this, if you're listening to the show and you're like, man, this guy's number one was yeah. a death metal song last time. Yeah. You yeah. got, I'm, I got fucking 18 hardcore songs for you now. So yeah. the hope conspiracy. Ooh. Truth and purpose. Uh, how does it go? I don't know if I know the That's song. That, that, it's, a, it's like a pattern type deal. Okay. The, uh, 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 uh. Uh, oh yeah 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 uh, which which record is that on uh, the fucking blue one with the guy the, yeah the blue one yeah the, the one with the guy <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> the one with the guy on the front that hope, seeing hope con is have you ever seen them yeah for okay. show you know when you're when you're wa- a first show the first hardcore show was suicide file hope con every time i die American right Nightmare. so do you remember vividly seeing this is the song where the room full of people is waiting for truth and purpose you know, mm-hmm. like they have part, they have other hard parts throughout the whole thing. Yeah. But it's like, you see, there's a palpable feeling in the room of like, here it comes. Yo, truth and purpose <laughs> is next. So I'm better <laughs> move away. Yeah. yeah. Um, the things I've seen grown men do to other grown men and small children to this would, would, would end this show <laughs> forever. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, this Hope is Con, there, there's a couple uh, of generational amazing. bands. Yeah, oh yeah, my god. They're a generational band. They're a band that's like dude, that's an underrated band actually. A band that's like often kind of left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should do it. <laughs> that's a that's so we were 
we were workshopping a couple different ideas for today. One is one was underrated bands, so that that's going to be in a couple weeks. Yeah, just it's just a band like that isn't talked about enough when it comes to that era. Yeah, <laughs> easy, easy. Hope con truth and purpose. Love it. Yep. My next one is hometown heroes. Little band called Weekend Nachos. Really. Uh, dude, they have a song called Pain Over Acceptance that mm-hmm. is just like a long intro over like a and like they they played the Bee Kitchen once and like I love that part and John knew I love that part and I was moshing really hard to that part uh-huh. and John just went, Bo fucking looters! <laughs> Isn't that the best though, seeing your friend moshing? Of course. To this but, day, like, there's, like, almost, there's like nothing that excites me more. Um, I don't talk about Weekend Nachos enough. They were like, for a long time, they were like our sister band, you know? They were just like, yeah. Sister band is hilarious to say. And it's like a light, it's a a light rib. (laughs) No, what do you mean? Sister cities. Yeah, I know. Um, we toured with them a lot. First time in California was with them. They were just like our guys. Um, and, and still are. And, uh, when this and they have a lot of heavy parts. They're a very heavy band. And yeah, that like, shocked when I, me when I was yeah. when I first heard them because the you kids, don't think no. And the kids at my school that liked them were like the crust kids that didn't really fuck with me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Who like see they see a uh, an AF shirt and a dying fetus hoodie and they're like fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah. But they love weekend nachos. Us and nachos could play the same city, including Chicago, and play to different people. You know, it's just kind of different. It's like, full, like full of hell vibes, kind of. Yeah, kind of. They created their own group of oh, people. Oh, dude, that they, dude Andy played a seven string. That band was in, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. no crust band is playing seven strings no. because they're they're all like brilliant musicians. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's they they were just awesome. So, pain over acceptance by Weekend Nachos. The intro is unreal. Good shit. Unreal. This one is a, a little bit of an out of the box, comp- like when you think about what a breakdown is. And I, but Dude, I have one of those. Love it. I'll Love explain it. why. Yeah. When I was 12 or 13 years old, mm-hmm. I picked up trying to write stuff on guitar. I didn't know how to play it. I just knew like what sounds were cool, and I knew I liked jin, 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 you know? Yeah. So when I was 13, 14... I'm like, okay, I'm, I got a kind of a group, like know how to like put a riff together. You know, I don't know what a riff means, but I know, okay, this is the part where something will happen. And something I wrote was. Which I learned about a year later. (laughs) I had never heard it. So this was complete parallel thinking from a 13-year-old and a new band from New York called Burn. Mm. And the song is called Shall Be Judged. Mm-hmm. And that's and the pit, what I love about it is the pit is all toms. It's oh, banana, bum, 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 yeah, I love banana, that. Bum, 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 and the drummer starts like bit dip bit dip bit. Got to do to ga. Uh so it's that. it's like a non-traditional pit that is built for pitting. And now we know was fronted by the guy who might have invented spin kicks. You know? Uh, oh, yeah. That's that's kind of his. That's uh, the lore is that Chaka might have been the first spin kicker. That's right. So um, I was never a burn guy. Like, never. Uh, dude, I just, but I just but how of, bad did you want the TV long sleeve? Yeah, right. Totally. Oh God. I, I mean, was like, I this was, thing's so cool. I got to listen to this man. Yeah. When I went through like the real youth crew phase, which there's a bunch of youth crew on this list too, mm. I like wanted to like every rev band. Yeah. Because that was just it, you know? And I tried. I just didn't I didn't like get it. I don't know. I didn't get it. It was the same thing with uh what was fucking Zach Del Roach's Inside Out? Inside Out. Didn't I might be the only guy that doesn't fucking come in their pants for Inside Out though. Maybe it's no, it's not. you and me. We're the last we ain't two. Coming. Yeah. I'm dry. Dry. I'm in. I'm inside out. My pants are dry. Um, <laughs> I respect the the legacy though. But uh, yeah, not. I get it. Like people fucking pop off for the cover whenever people play it. But yeah, it's not. Um, what's yours? 
My next one is Judge, which is funny that I left it off the previous list because because there you're like they. It, when I found out about Judge, I was going through in my life what Judge was, like post youth crew right. but kind of metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, that was like, I was like, oh, hateful metallic <laughs> youth crew. You know, straight edge. Yeah, straight yeah, edge as you know. fuck. Which is like that's how I feel to this day. Yeah. So, fed up was definitely like mm. on the list, but really, and there's cool lore to this. Uh, where it went by mm. Judge, which there's a music video for. Right. Do you know the song? Yeah. It starts with the the bass part. Yeah, and then it's the. Do you feel how I feel? Right. And Actual mosh part. Yeah, I can look you in the face yeah. and I know I lost a friend. Yeah, that's that's a hard ass part. And then the dun 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 straight pattern. A pattern breakdown. Yeah. Um, I was I'm talking to uh, recently with with a Mac, good old Mac Miller and my buddy Jesse about like kind of what Judge was for a while. You know? Yeah. They were like the band that didn't reunite. They were like the last legacy and act. Was, they and, did. And like, and then there was the documentary, and there was a fire that burned all the footage. It right. was like this crazy, like so oh, mythic. Shit. Yeah. Yo, did you get? Did you have the Judge Hot Topic shirt? No. Oh no. my god. When I found that thing in there, I was like, I just struck gold. Yeah, right. I'm yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> nobody knows this is here. I'm going to be the only one with this shirt because nobody comes in here. Right. California um, Hot Topic was crazy, man. We had like Carry On, Judge. Yeah, that's sick. Badass. I, it, it, make, it, make, it tracks. Yeah. I did buy vinyl at Hot Topic when they had it. I got like seven seconds, The Crew, oh, and the Bad Brains record. I got good stuff. I bet they were um, But up. cool lore about where it went is Harm's Way actually covered it for a very short run. We played it at the Down to Nothing uh, Richmond, like Christmas or New Year's, New Year's uh, bash, whatever they would do. Nice. And we played it in other cities and no one really knew it. But then all of the gorilla dudes in Richmond, like, oh, of course, knew the judge cover. Yeah. And it wasn't fed up. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like we played kind of a deep cut. <laughs> And I just I like like, vividly remember Dave Wood being like, I was gonna say, picturing sweet David Wood before you play, being like, You guys covering Judge? That's so cool, man. You guys are so cool. <laughs> and then yeah. beating ass. Like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? It was, it was fucking from? awesome. Yeah. I loved covering that. He's the but. best. I miss him. I miss him too. One of the most heartbreaking edge breaks of our time, right? <laughs> yeah, David well, Wood, if you're listening. Love you. You broke my heart. <laughs> and I miss you so much. Um, I know it was you, David. I know it was you. Uh, my next pick. Blood for Blood. Ah. Bitch called Hope. <laughs> <sighs> you left me a bitter, twisted motherfucker, dude. Oh, cool. Yeah. No matter how many times they re record this fucking song, this thing still goes obscenely hard. And this is a band with no shortage. Of of yeah. of uh, of breakdown volume two worthy tracks, for me, bitch called hope is is their single hardest part. Another generational band that is like, they're they're one of those bands you forget ran yeah. shit. And Fucking, like, still, if they played anywhere in Northeast, it would like, be insane. I'd be yeah. there, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of the hardest lore ever. Revolves around Blood for Blood, so I I I look forward to having Rob on someday because mm. I've I've been told some stories off the record, yeah, that I would hope could be on the record. Yeah, yeah, totally. I ain't telling them without and nobody's permission. I'll tell you that much. No, sir. Uh, but the way that they got signed to Victory, yeah, is maybe the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so that's a little tease for the one the for whenever we eventually get Rob or Ian. Uh, great friend of the show, Ian McFarland, filmmaker, directed the Agnostic Front documentary. Oh, so good. Kicks ass. Um, hopefully, Ian. Is that the, the Godfathers of Godfathers of Hardcore? Hardcore. Dude. Uh, Ian's the man. Hope to have him or Rob on someday. We'll we'll see what we can't do. Uh, yeah, Blood for Blood. Bitch can't hope. But bitch called hope. Bitch can't hope that, <laughs> I, can't hope. that I don't put a bitch <laughs> called hope on. Because I put it on. Um. My next one is another like pattern breakdown one that was omitted on the previous list, which is actually kind of shocking, and it's blistered by strife. Mm. 
when I first, there was a band from here called Undo Tomorrow mm -hmm. who were around like when I first started coming to shows and they covered, I think Waiting, they covered another Strife song. Mm -hmm. And that was like my, oh, let's listen to this band. I think Blistered starts the record. I think it does. I think it opens the record. So it's like very easy to go, oh shit. And it's got the pattern thing. It's got the sing along part. It's got the my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got everything I need. And at the time, believing they were a straight edge band, <laughs> you know, uh, again, it was a, it was similar to Judge, where I was like, oh, this is the continuance of what Judge had already kind of laid down for yeah, me yeah. in my yeah, yeah. post youth crew phase. You know what I mean? It was like the I, next I, thing. to me, I think. Strife, like I had already found Hate Breed, you know? Yeah. So I had my Hate Breed. Yeah. I think Strife is Hate Breed to native Californians. I'm I'm almost a native Californian, but I'm not. Uh-huh. So like there was a there's a little gap where I, when I heard Strife, I was like, I already have something harder than this, you know? Very good. I but but really, I I'm blistered pit is undeniable. It's undeniable. It's what got all the say? parts. Yeah. That goes pit to pit. <laughs> Dude, that's three. It's pit to pit. They go pit. They do do mosh three. So Jay, if you're listening, we've got another for three, but no four. No four. Wait. Do they do? Do they go back into the halftime after that? No. Wait a minute, dude. It is four. They go gunk gunk. God damn it, Jay. We've got another mosh four. It's fucking blistered strike. It's the same pattern as Apocalypse Now, which is funny. Down, dun, 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 because it's dun, 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 dun. we'll have to re, we'll have to fact check yeah. this we'll check with uh no it is with the it's judges if this is double time four. still double time with just the pattern then then dun, 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 god damn it blister yeah, i gotta yeah. give it up for strife blizzard's moth four. four jay we, four. we got another one god <laughs> damn it all right well my next one is mosh one and it was <laughs> all that was needed okay this is Beautiful. this is and like one of the most underrated New York hardcore records ever. Ooh, I wonder if I have it on your. Table. Is a record called "Happiness Without Peace" by oh. a band called Sub Zero. Wow! And this song that you've heard covered by legends like Terror and others, this song is called "Box In," and I think it is it is like among the list of legitimate perfect hardcore songs. Ooh! And I think I didn't put it on Volume One because I was like, now nah, I might. I might use this one for something soon, so I don't want people talking <laughs> about it. But it's fine. Uh, you can hear it. <laughs> boxed in, made, made volume two. Um, the way they build to the pit with the same thing you hear in the beginning is like, yeah. that's how you get me, you know? Gotcha. Like, you do, the, you the tease throwback. me in the start yeah. Yeah. with, like, okay, how, am I, how we're going to do this later. Hard-ass verse. Hard ass chorus. The song is so simple, and it just shows that like more technical does not mean more interesting. Mm -mm. Just mm -mm. just give it to me, you know, because mm -hmm. there's they can out riff you. They've showed that the guitar they they rip. They're doing all kinds of like mm -hmm. like there's all kinds of scale runs and shit. But when the fucking and hits, it hits like a fucking nuclear bomb, dude. You know what's funny about this list? This list is going to be a really good. Are you interested in hardcore? Don't know where to start. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hardcore because the previous one is so mixed. This is like, it's very. The other one is very personal. Yeah, you know, it's that's like these are it. our, these are for us. This, this is, is kind of like, yeah. Yeah. hey, anybody could hear these and be like, yeah, this is this is up there. Box wow. ten, holy shit. Um, my next one is another New York band, a very youth crew band. Um, seldom talked about, I feel. Band called Side by Side. Oh man, the last band. That hasn't reunited. Yeah. The last one. Did Alone in the Crowd reunite? The other yeah. last. <laughs> they probably did, you know? 
But I'm not a big like I don't I'm not I don't cream yeah. over the alone in a crowd seven inches. I know yeah. that's like that's church for for thousands for for dozens of people in the world. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, but side by side for me is like the fucking production, the pits, dude, the logo, the lo- you know who that is? is? It- it's a silhouette of LL Cool J. Is it really? Dude, you ever look at the shoes on that silhouette? They're fucking huge. You know why? LL Cool <laughs> J. Huge. Cool J. Uh, the song is called Backfire mm. by Side by Side. Let me hear the riff. Waiting life. You don't know what it's about, but the fucking. It's the like vocal a, inflection of that era. It was just everybody unreal, was like, yeah, I got to do yeah. the thing, guys. I got to do the capo thing. It's like you know? when uh, when when grunge, everybody hurt. Their, yeah. yeah. But it's the. Backfire, dan, 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 in your face, great, great yeah. part. Pit, love, full pit, love side by side. The last one, Big. so side by the side. If one, you're yeah. listening, don't do and it. Supposedly, uh, Jules like goes to shows, like he's like mm-hmm. around, and he just like, he's just like, no, I'm good. I love that side by side. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're the last Lonely one. Crowd, don't do it. Wait Lonely for the crowd. fucking Coachella offer or something. Yes, <laughs> ten mil. Wait for 10 mil from Coachella for Side by Side, all right? My next pick. And with this, I pick the LP version that where the, the like record's kind of fucked up and it starts at the I wrong part. I have version-specific ones, too, yeah. yeah. And I think everybody just figured out what I'm talking about. Because on the EP version, it goes... Dun, dun, down, 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 ba, ba, da, down, down, and that's how the song starts. But on the LP version... Shattered Realm, all will suffer. Starts with just bing, bum, bum, gum, bum, <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Uh, and that, again, was one of those things I heard as a teenager that was like, this is it. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is who you are. All the pieces. Program for life, like, set you <laughs> on one path. Oh, Shattered Realm, all will suffer. Set me on a path. I have never once strayed from. (laughs) My first experience, my first exposure to Shattered Realm was a a fest that Shane did in Northwest Indiana that actually some of the coolest lore ever. But basically, uh, Shattered Realm played the entire room. Like literally, I was against a wall. Just like, I have nowhere to go. I, yeah. My youth crew band played the fest. Was I mean? this I was was, like, was Joe singing? I don't know. What I year was? Don't it? I don't remember. It was two thousand. Let's see. My band was probably like two thousand four or five. It might have already been Joe at that time. I, I don't. Which honestly, there's some fucking tracks on Joe's yeah. record too. Holy. The fest ended up getting shut down before all of the Lock and Out bands could play, uh-huh. which was like for me truly devastating. Right. The entire fest moved to a local kid's basement, and it was like mental, righteous jams, and fuck. Did you get in? Yo, fuck yeah, I got in. Okay. Dude, mental cover youth of today. So that was the best moment of your life. Yeah, and you know what's cool is I I think I asked Morgato about it, and he said that like that was talked about in like their circles. about How sick that that show was? Yeah, how like... Cause it was like a bummer. Like, the Yo, that, shut that little fucking nerd going crazy for the use of the <laughs> cover was was insane. It was can't close my eyes. I'll never forget. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It may have been the wrong side who covered it actually and not mental, but one of them did. They, they literally did a thing where they just like, you know, yeah. DFJ course. was sat the entire time of and course. everyone just switched around them. The Badass. goat. They set the standard for, for, what yeah. I, what, for me. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's next for you? Because that was mine, right? Oh, yeah, that was yeah. your. Sorry, I, I took that. I took That's that all good. A little, I took it for a walk. Um, this is a good one. Okay. <laughs> somebody somebody, <laughs> somebody commented on the thing, um, Wolverine Blues by Entombed, yeah. which is a great answer. The dan- gan- 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 it's fucking awesome. Yeah. The Converge cover it up. Dude. Amazing. But my pick is actually... The left hand path, the song. Mm. Um, 
harm's way on that first tour with with taylor in europe we intro it was either that one or the the, the second one but either way we intro you know the post um yeah there's like the wow and then the solo Saba learned the whole solo and we we just played down down, and played the whole thing straight into a no gods no master song that like Mm -hmm. lined up really well with it Mm -hmm. and it's it was pretty fucking cool wow to the point where we were practicing it and a dude who we saw we saw around like knocked on our door and he was like then too <laughs> you guys are killing it that was awesome yeah, that was awesome so, uh no yeah, that's cool that, it, um not hardcore at all but just like one of the 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 is yeah. like so mean and then the it is yeah. part. scary oh scary yeah. the the magic of getting together with your boys and being like let's do an in a live intro you know yeah F- how fun taylor hates me what? He's just not. He, I'm, I send him the wackiest shit to the point where he just doesn't even respond anymore. <laughs> if I like, if I start talking about like we should cover this, I, he doesn't respond, or he goes, "What is like? What? I don't understand what." He said this to me the other day. He said, "I don't understand why you think this way." <laughs> and I'm just like, What's I'm the just, wackiest one. I think What's my response was, one? "I'm just having a good time." What's the wackiest one? Come on. I said that when we next time Twitching Tones plays Boston, we should cover the Boston's. Oh, that's kind of cool. That I'm would be, down. yo, the room would explode. Yeah. yeah that would be the dude, craziest uh, fucking thing of all time. Dude, fucking uh, someday. Yeah. Someday. No, I mean, I would do the impression that I get 100%. Would you really? <laughs> yeah, 100%. You ever see the video of uh, of Choke playing? What's at stake with yes, Boston? Yes, of course. So fucking cool. So They're the coolest cool. band of all. The, I mean, when, the impression that I get is the greatest piece of music. Like, you know the boys with the time machine, girls with the time machine meme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going back to Beethoven. <laughs> Listen to this. I'm putting on, putting on the impression well that I get. Clueless the impression just, that I get, and then I'm yeah. beating the shit out of him. <laughs> And saying you will never fucking be this. I'm not a coward. I've just never been fucking too. Stomping the fuck out of him too. Yeah. Well, never. <laughs> Beethoven. So it's on Great. site with Beethoven straight up. <laughs> Did music. you go? You picked one. I was in tune. Yeah, I was in tune. Okay. My next pick. Uh, deep cut to some. Not deep to to. Uh, very few. Uh, a foundational band for me. Deep cut for even them. This is Sam Black Church. Oof, yeah. The song is called The Alien. Okay. This is another one of those things where I don't want to put it on here because I want to steal it someday. Gotcha. So I'm not going to describe it. If you care, you can go hear it. If you don't, I'm going to steal Sam it. Sam Black Church is a band that missed me entirely. Yeah. Uh, which I think is probably not surprising. It's not in your blood. Well, but I remember when us and you guys played Metal Fest, they played the big room and all of you guys were so pumped. Yeah, you were watching me watch them with tears in my eyes, probably. I was outside. I wasn't watching shit. I was hanging out outside, but I was really happy for you. <laughs> but I remember like checking them out and being like, yeah, that's just aren't there horns? No, that, there's no that's fucking doggy horns. Dog. Yeah, that's doggy, doggy dog. dog. You would hear Sam Black Church today and be like, what was I thinking? This is the yeah, sickest band yeah, of all Yeah, maybe I need to dive in. Yeah. I could show uh, one song in. You'd be like, this is, this is everything I've ever wanted. Okay. clean. Uh, it's yeah. like, the it's, logo's it's, cool. it's straight up like Bad Brains meets Slayer meets Blue, Blue Scale. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like Entombed. <laughs> <laughs> but but I but like it. from yeah. but like Boston. but like I get it I get like it. Boston get it. you know yeah yeah I'll check it out I like all it. right man <laughs> for, <laughs> for sure I'm not saying it's bad uh-huh. it's what's your next me. pick oh my god so sensitive this is we had Earth Crisis on the on the last list <sighs> boy did we we did not have Path of Resistance oh Path of Resistance is another band um. Who Dares Wins is the record. When that, like, I think Carl told us that everyone on the cover is still Edge. Yeah, yeah. 
and still vegan. Yeah, that's fucked. I think that's what he said, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't, couldn't be me, Carl. Shout out to you. <laughs> Check out Mr. Charlie's. <laughs> there's, there's a few good... Um, there's a few really good breakdowns on the record, but yeah. see the damage. Mm. Um, the Danic, Danic, yeah, of course. To see the damage. That's and a heavily like, ripped off part to this day. Oh yeah, like people. And I'm people, sure they ripped it off from something. Yeah. Um, you know what's really funny, and I think it's the song. There's a part where it's like from the 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 fa. No, they like alternate. Yeah. And Carl says the twice, but just. <laughs> it's just like, Who thought, thought. <laughs> yeah, that's it's cool. very fucking funny to think about how they would coordinate that live. But um, a path again, like Judge and Blistered was like the next like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? In or my like, circle. Yeah. The like, hey, you're going to be you're going to be very straight edge because we are. That was how I grew up. Like like the fight. Everyone guys were like, hey, Path of Resistance is. Path of Resistance was the Chromags to the the Fight Everyone yeah. squad. Yeah. So it was like I I that was that was church for me because it like it, I it was my homework, you know? Got you. Yeah. Earth yeah. Crisis too, but Earth Crisis I instantly was like, "Oh, this is Yeah. This was made for me." Path is different. Very it's different. like a it's an interesting band, but uh, see the damage and counter those are the those are the tracks. I think isn't it like, it like weren't those songs written in like no time at all, too, the way he described it? I don't remember. I think it was like a like a on the fly type thing, which is crazy. My next pick, yeah, uh, the l- second the second to last non hardcore song on my list. Okay, obituary. Oh, could have gone could have gone a lot of ways here. Yeah, could have gone many ways. Could have gone something non cause of. Could have gone fucking. Uh, but world demise Mm. title track Mm. with the fucking samples over it Mm -hmm. was broke me as a kid it broke me in half because i was trying to decipher like what the riff the riff in the background is like so they already yeah. had this hard ass riff yeah and they were like this is the mid 90s now guys let's <laughs> let's do some and it's straight up like hip hop type samples over this obituary breakdown where it's just like like noises and then they yeah. go pit to pit with like a down down now with a fucking machine gun over it so sick. it's crazy and they knew like i they love marauder you know i know yeah, that yeah, yeah yeah i know that they knew what they were doing with the world demise breakdown and that's why i think it it is deserving of the honor of being on this list and i think that is there because of all the bells and whistles despite them maybe having more traditional breakdown sections this is the single hardest obituary part love that that's a good yeah i like that I've just. Uh, they're playing here tomorrow night with our boys Ingrown, so I'm going to go see him. They ain't playing that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Not a fucking chance. So, all right. This one I got to set up. Set this is up. a non-breakdown breakdown. Oh. Okay. This is a very unconventional breakdown. Okay. It's really a bridge, but Harm's Way is driving. We're in. It's winter. It's an early tour. I think we're in a cargo van. Okay. We're, we're on, what's the bad, is it, it's either I-8 or I-70 is the one where everybody crashes. Colorado to Yeah, Salt it's Lake. like Salt Lake to Denver. Yeah, yeah. We're on the bad one, whatever the bad one is, yeah. like the Bayside one, the Exploding Hearts yeah, one, yeah. the Decapitated, the bad one. Right. We're on it because of whatever reason, and it's <sighs> fucking snowy. It's Stop the fucking winter. booking shit during the winter then, yeah. guys. Yeah. Stop going um, there during the winter. I'm sorry to those cities. <laughs> it's not worth your fucking life. To play to go drive from Salt Lake City to Denver in December, you know? Yeah. Stop it. Anyway, James is driving. He's got on a band called Vital Remains. Wow. <laughs> With the title track of Dechristianize. Yeah. During the arpeggio. And then the I thought and like I'm like in a cargo van with my hands on the seats, like watching James drive because I'm so scared. So you're the, you're hearing this and you're thinking this is it, and I accept I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna, it, dude. 
Exactly. And I'm wow. like, dude, if we if we crash where all these other bands have crashed and we're listening to de-Christianize, if, if I'm wrong about the God thing, I'm going straight to hell. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. And it was a very, it was just like a pivotal, the song rocks. Oh, yeah. They, they, the a lyric is unstoppable force of demonic supremacy. Oh. It's, it's incredible. That's what I say to, uh, with my coffee every morning. <laughs> it's brewing, I cream. hit the button, I brew Oat it. milk, please. Yeah, I dump, dump in my little stuff. I stir around and go, unstoppable force of demonic supremacy. Take another sip, another day, you know? Yeah. Looking in the mirror. Um. So there, it's not like, um. there's no chucks. It's not like a... Yeah. Actually, there is one guitar underneath the the arpeggios, and she was going, which is like that's but, giving it the subtle power behind there that yeah, you don't exactly. even think about. Yeah, exactly. Love that. But it's just like burned into my memory of like gray pavement, white everywhere else, yeah. on the side of a mountain in a cargo van, just scared as fuck, listening to a scary part. Yeah. It's that's a part cool. that could be in a show or a movie or something. It's yeah, like a scary that's part. that's a cool little uh, cool anecdote. Yeah. Good good pick, good pick. Thank you. Um, this next one, representing Cleveland, Ohio. In cold blood. Oh, war is waged. Is that? The- okay. Yeah. Which, like, many people will recognize. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, but that that was that was one where I was like, oh, they might be the hardest Cleveland band. Really? Which, like, at that time, like me, teenager was like, yeah. I was searching for like this is this is why I, like I I think I'm authorized to have this show now, is because I would have these internal debates in my inside my mind when I was 15, 16. I don't think that they're the hardest one now. You know, mm-hmm. Ringworm is the hardest one. Mm-hmm. Frank, if you're listening, you did it. <laughs> you always do. Yeah, um, quite literally. Frank Three Gun, Fr- Florida Frank, Hard Lore coming very soon. Um, mm. in, right. This part was what made this made 15, 16 year old Colin have this internal debate inside my mind of like, what if In Cold Blood's the hardest one? Is fucking, it hits so hard, and then they immediately pick up the tempo right after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mushroom Head Man's voice is just so raging. That's the weirdest. It's so crazy. It's such a weird. Yo, image. here's the thing, Mushroom Head. <laughs> <laughs> Couple tracks, dude. <laughs> Couple track. Couple crazy mosh parts mm. in the Mushroom Head discog, but that's neither here nor there. In Cold Blood, War is Witch. It's my next Very good. This one is a j- another hardcore band. Just, but like one that people are going to go, yeah, fucking finally. Yeah. A little band called Outburst. Oh. The track is No Choice. Yeah, that's, when, I mean, that's an, that's like a fucking yeah. rock with you. Level yeah. <laughs> intro <laughs> fill, dude. There's the Davidian intro. Davidian the intro. Rock, with you, rock intro. with you. No doubt. Uh, is it spider? What is it? Spider webs. I don't know. That's spider webs, uh, right? Is it? Yeah, I think so. That that and then no choice. Albert. No cho- <laughs> Those are the four great fills. <laughs> the when, four uh, great intro fills. Every me, Chris, and James. We're in a band called Few and the Proud mm-hmm. that covered this. And like when when we discovered Outburst, it like changed the direction. Like, you know how when you're writing songs and you'll uh the the Hundred Demons one, like yeah. you'll just like reference, you know, blah blah blah. We had Outburst two because oh. we already had Outburst one. Because okay. we were just like So you had more of one thing for the first time. Yeah. And that just yeah. completely rechanged the focus. Yeah. I love when that I love like discovering yeah. a new thing and just being like, Yeah, this is what we're doing now. This is the, yeah, this is the thing. That's awesome. It feels great. Yeah. <laughs> just having a new, a new direction. To, it's just inspiring. It's like, mm-hmm. that's why I find like, I'll stop listening to music to prioritize writing music. And I'll be like, why isn't this working? And then you realize that like listening to music is the most helpful thing 
Yeah. For writing music. Just get being inspired, being a fan. Once you start looking at it as anything other than like, I love this shit, so I want to make it. It mm. fucking sucks. And no mm. choice was a song with that drum fill, dude. Yeah. I that was like part of the learn trying to learn that is like, okay, what is each sound? Is this a snare? Is this a tom? Is this a kick? Is this all double bass? I got <laughs> <you>. <laughs> like I couldn't that and then you listen to it and now you go back now and you go, oh my god, I'm such a fucking idiot. Like it's just yeah. this. But those are the like these little moments, these little uh like you just saying that unlocked yeah, teenage yeah. me trying to play it in the living room at the pit and just figure out what was happening. Iconic. <laughs> Love it. Opera scrape in. My next have they? Yes. Okay. They played California like a year ago. (laughs) Oh, really? Uh, My next pick a super group of sorts. Democracy. Nope. Certainly not (laughs) that. (laughs) Little band called Ice Pick. Yeah. Okay. Featuring Sir Sir (laughs) Jamathan Josta and Lord. Isaac, bitter, twisted memory. Yeah. Good God, dude. What a cool band. The cool, the coolest yeah. name. Yeah. The, yeah. I do. The, I mean, here's the thing. I, I bought the CD on a field trip in <laughs> middle school, I think. Holy or shit. Middle school or, or like, or high, it might have been in high school. I was on a field trip in high school. I had exact change for what this thing cost. The artwork was so cool that it yeah. being 162 uh, kilobytes size <laughs> Dude, printed yeah, did yeah. not affect how cool it was. You know, mm-hmm. the low res mm-hmm. JP, JPEG did not make this thing any less cool. This fucking song, because Real Recognized Real was on MySpace. Oh. So okay. you could hear some songs. Bitter Twisted Memory, I didn't hear for the first time until listening to the album and getting to that fucking part, the build up. Yeah. No, thank God. That is so like iconic Josta. Mm-hmm. And as we've said before, he is the greatest mosh scientist to ever live. He's Albert. Einstein. He is Albert Einstein of writing pit spin kick riffs. So this was just, this is just another fun. This is a cheat way to me for me to put a hate breed song on here again. <laughs> right. um, but like, obviously the, the whole record, you have the back and forth between these two iconic hardcore front men uh and it's so cool and and like both with unique voices so the contrast between the two is yeah. awesome. You it's, know? and like unmistakable like when you're listening to yeah. real recognize real there's some voices where you're like oh that's that guy like oh who is that because mm-hmm. they sound kind of different mm-hmm. like from like their classic records to their parts on real recognize mm-hmm. real but in and then ezek comes back in and the end with the fucking with the color brotherhood you know that yeah, whole yeah, shit yeah. and you're like oh my god there there they are uh bitter Dude. twisted memory is on uh, amongst the greatest breakdowns I've ever written i don't love guest vocal spots particularly live sure i don't love them they can work i mean yeah but my point is like furnace on the terror song yeah iconic vogel on the throwdown song unbelievable right Fucking Isaac on the terror song. Yeah. Josta on the E-Town song, you know, iconic. <laughs> but my point was he, Isaac has a voice that like, I'm immediately like, uh, it's just like one of the more recognizable voices. Yeah. And it works so well against Josta. And, you know, oh, there, it's a perfect yin and yang. It's perfect, really, yeah. Cause it's like, Josta's doing the full like, oh, <gasps> Isaac's yeah. got the, oh, it's a different <laughs> register. All yes. together. So they're they're straight up like doing an octave when yeah, they're singing exactly. together. It's like it's cool dynamic. It is literal like music. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like it's music. Yeah. The, that the, it's like a movie. You know, it's like music to my ears when they when they make music. My <laughs> next uh-huh. one uh-huh. is uh from ASIC. It's not it's the intro, but mm. it's the intro to or it's like the the beginning of Salt Mine, which is just dissonant chord. Gong, 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 gong. Um, that like off time 
Like the, yeah, the off time riff to the drums. Yeah. And also different to the guy who's fucking singing it at the same time as playing. Yeah, Pretty it's crazy. Um, ass are so cool. Mm-hmm. Like actually hardcore adjacent. There are yep. pictures of them in like you to today and chain of strength shirts and shit. All while being called ass suck. You know? Being called this insane name, having a record <laughs> that is so good and short that I never only listen to it once. Oh yeah. And that, you cool? know what I mean? It's so good and short that I just let it go again. Like Return of the Mac, you know? <laughs> Dude, how many times? You ever listen to Return of the Mac just once? <laughs> no. Never. I've, how many times did we listen to it the other day? Uh, brother. Where, where were we? Have I said this on the show that that is the song? Like one time I, for fun, left Return of the Mac on for 24 straight hours and like never stopped having a good time. Bing, bing, bing. The, when it comes back in, you're like, oh. <laughs> but again, ass fuck, right. What's the best improv? Oh, it's my Oh my girl. god. Yeah, this is the best <laughs> ad lib. Oh my god. I like I like once my pearl too. Once my pearl. Is that what he says? Yeah. Once my pearl. Once my pearl. Wow. But oh my god is insane. Oh. Return of the man just goes, "Oh my god." <laughs> My next pick is Return of the Mac by <laughs> by Mark Morris. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Because that's on the best songs ever list that we'll but do. Yeah, eventually. Ask, like, yo, let's put when we make this playlist, let's just end it. Put Return of the Mac on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's got to be on there. And that's maybe number two to uh, the impression that I get of best songs of all time. Best songs ever. It goes impression that I get Return of the Mac. My way, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Man in the mirror. Man in the mirror is crazy, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, good shit. Dude. You got any more ass suck anecdotes or uh no, but just dope band. Yeah, yeah. Dope band of like music I don't typically listen to. I'm not like a huge grind guy. Sure. But but again, more to your point that you often bring up is like they're kind of writing it through a yes. hardcore lens. Through the perspective, yeah. It's fucking it's, that's that's the melding that that's, I that's what's do. called art, brother. Called mm. art. Okay. Okay. Up next is a band that I can't believe was omitted from volume one. Oh. Beautiful. And I don't even, I don't think that you can believe is omitted from volume one. Okay. Because God, and I, I think, I think fun. there's a reason why. Okay. You, when you think about this band, you think about like the album experience, you know, you think about the live experience. It's tough to pin down one part of of a band called Death Threat to say <laughs> yeah. is among the best breakdowns. Okay. But to me, there's one thing in particular that makes me lose my sanity, Bo. What's and the that? song is called Never Again. Um. Come on, dude. Dad and Kententon, Dententon, Kententon, Dad and Kententon. That's another one where I like the things I've seen grown men do to that. Oh, the yeah. things I, a grown man, has done. <laughs> the things I, as a child, did sure. to that song. It's in your DNA. You can't I, help. I, I could get. I would get life in prison if that was. If this, this information was out there. Thank God sy- it's not. <laughs> systemic oppression. Dude. It is you the, the death threat. You. Never again. Um, landmark like band. Pit. Yeah, for sure. Mine would be Brotherhood. The ending of Brotherhood on Last Days is like, yeah, that's fair. That, that's what I want from a hardcore band. from a band. I, I want a sing along part from it, it, with the China crash. Yeah, you know what of I mean? course. That's fucking awesome. But go on, sorry. Never again. I'll kill. <laughs> I'll, I I like it's it's like okay, this might be the day, you know, mm-hmm. where I get in trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. So never again. Um, this one is so important to Harm's Way. That I kind of can't believe it wasn't on there. Wow. It's the intro to No Exceptions by Floor Punch. Floor Punch is collectively one of our favorite, at least me, Chris, and James, Mm -hmm. collectively one of our favorite bands, period. Yeah. There was a point in time in early Harm's Way with like their first lineup where no matter what, if somebody put that on and you heard, no matter what, with the exception of the driver, 
everyone in the van had to just beat each other. Oh, up. it's like one of those. Like you're going it was over one of the those like van ass. mosh. Like, yeah, got to do it. Shit would get thrown. Uh, <laughs> just like some of the fondest memories of like this is what touring is like. Oh it was yeah, so early on. Yeah, I not be knowing silly. that like oh I have zero dollars and that it <laughs> Less that life is good. Brother. You know yeah. yeah, I owe millions <laughs> and life is good because floor punch is on. Uh, um, floor punch is incredible. Floor punch doesn't have a bad song. Hateful straight edge. Hateful fast straight edge is my favorite genre of music. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, no, and and no exceptions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, as a concept. Like, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. There. Uh, I mean, one, a couple exceptions. <laughs> but like, yeah, I get it. I like what he's yeah. saying. You know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, teenage that, me is like no fucking exceptions. You know. What are your exceptions? What are you alluding to? I don't know. What you, I don't know. <laughs> What's next? I don't know. Uh, when, <laughs> I'm spoiling the underrated bands episode, but mm. perhaps, perhaps the most on that list. And another band that is just so pivotal to me and the music that I make. A little band called Dying Breed. Oh, I there wasn't a lot of Troy on. I I, I had Stigmata in there representing for the yeah. for you know for the whole area code, but Dying Breed is like, and again this and you know I'll tell you why because yeah, this was the last thing on the list because it was so fucking hard to pick one part from this record. Oh, what because a cool. it is so full stop perfect start to finish. You know, love that. It's like how am I supposed to pick one thing from this? But this has the. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get on your feet. That crazy ass, crazy voice. Um, I've stolen this part about fifty times. Bro. Um, so has Scott Vogel. You know. Yeah. Right. Um, this record this this record was another paradigm shifting thing for me mm -hmm. of just like how to write like i don't know how these fucking guys did this yeah i dude i love that statement about any like group of people you know what i mean how did they how did yeah, these guys do this yeah yeah i love that and then seeing them play a bunch of songs at the freedom fest thing a few years ago that god's hate played in albany where they 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 so they did another band after Dying Breed called Dead and Dying. Mm -hmm. uh, the drummer had just gotten out of jail. At this show, he hopped on. They did like seven Dying Breed songs. Did you know they were gonna do that? Uh, we had heard tell, of of the of a thing, and it was like, it uh, it was it's number three on best live things I've ever seen. It's like Bolt Thrower at the Metro, King Diamond at the Wiltern on Halloween, Dying Breed at Freedom Fest. I've, I've definitely said this on the show before too, but the drummer jumping out uh, off of the set into the bed of his buddy's truck and saying, Oh like, yeah. Cause he, yeah. Can't miss curfew. And then like skirting off yeah. after was just like so full, perfect experience of what you want from this band. Uh, that, so this, this is the one part I would encapsulate to say like, Hey, this is the single hardest like part in a song. But even that is so small compared to the scope of this this absolutely perfect record, and I, that I believe is being re released soon by A three eight nine. So look sure. forward to that. That's a, such a cool story. <sighs> Just like that's that's cool. hardcore, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's okay. the real shit. Yeah. Um, that's similar to Terror doing Dead of Birth with. With Aaron at Sonic Fury. That was incredible. Yeah. When we like, because cause Vogel like told us like early in the day. Yeah. Remember? And it was like, oh, like. He's like, we're doing it. So, so we were fucking front and damn center. Yeah. That's fun. That was a beautiful moment. What's next for you? This one's, um, this one is the last metal one for sure. And my next is, one is my last metal one. Yeah, there you go. Decapitated. Okay. Spheres of Madness. They got a lot of pits, man. They got a lot of pit parts when th this is a, this was probably the first like heavy earworm for me when I was like young and heard it. It was just like that rhythm never left my brain. Okay. 
And then knowing that they were like kids who right. just were just like crazy musicians in Poland. Yeah. And they probably just know, like they don't know what they liked. They are just like, this sounds cool. This sounds cool. Yeah. And we're like crazy. I always points. wonder what people who innovate genres get that stuff from, you know? How did they know how to do that? Why didn't we ask Josta that? <laughs> True. Shit. <laughs> he, I mean, he. I don't even think he would just be like, I, I, I don't know. I. <laughs> That's my Jasta. Um, I really like killing time. Yeah, I, I, I and mean, who knows? Like the, the, the anatomy of where these things come from is so fascinating that it's all, it all goes back to fucking day tripper, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to relent. The first breakdown ever is down. Na, 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 na. That's the first one, dude. So go back be, there. It would be cool to find the first patterned, like, open E breakdown. Yeah. Like, was yeah. that? Raining Blood <laughs> is. It's one of them. That's like one of the That's first. That's true. Like, gun, 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 gun. That's true. Gun. I don't because, know. Because, I mean, that was fire. like. People said Firestorm yeah. just sounded like Raining Blood, right. you know? And it's like, right. you look at, so much has happened since then that you wouldn't even think to compare the two. Yeah. Oh, but that, that, but looking at well that said. then, it's like, oh, no, this is the only other thing that sounds like this, which is crazy. I would love to. I would love, if you know of an earlier open, just chug pattern breakdown, bridge part that exists prior to Raining Blood, let us know. I would love to know one. Yeah. Is it my turn? No. no that was yours. Mine is the last metal band on this on my list. I was adjacent to it last time, and I think we might have even brought it up. Okay. Celtic Frost. Oh. Progeny. Dude. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that hits like a fucking bullet. Do you know, here's a deep cut for you. I can't hear that song without, it's not Taylor from your fucking vibe. Oh, days. yeah. By I the way. I forgot about that. Sorry, man. How how much long after? Uh, it's been like 15, 15 years. 15 years, yeah. I still can't, I can't not hear it. But Sorry. explain the part. Uh, they're building to this the whole, the, for like five minutes, dude. Yep. And then that part that finally hits is like the chorus. So of the, well, how I mean, this song is what is long, right? It's like seven or nine minutes or something. So they're yeah. they're building to this fucking chorus forever with the intro and then the second thing, and then this big ass chorus finally hits that straight up just like dun 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 dun. dun. Damn. Uh, and it really, really, really just hits exactly like you're listening to the song and you're like, well, they're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they do it. Right. Um, you know the meme of like the the stick figure drinking coffee, yeah. <laughs> like the yeah. he'll never be drinking that gourmet shit. And then, <laughs> <laughs> dude, the um, so when they play that when they play that part, the dung gung gung gung, because because here's what's cool is it does your favorite thing too is that's the verse dun, yeah dun 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 down right yes the bend is them hitting the string really hard yeah the there's no no there's no open there's no like. No, no bat wing there or anything. It's just yeah. it's just natural. That's a big ass string and it's gonna bend. And that was uh, very Harm's Way does that on a song called New Beginnings right. on Isolation. Right. We just I just hit the fuck out of the string when we were recording it and nice. it bent out of tune and it sounds awesome. That's exactly what you wanted. I we need to stop for a second. I'm gonna shit myself. Pardon this interruption. This episode is brought to you by Athletic Greens, and we're here to talk to you about. AG1. AG1. Bo, tell me about your journey with AG1 so far. I'm running low, so I'm sweating it. This is gold for me right now. Oh, you man. Know? Uh, we got to get a re-up. We I, do have to get a re-up, and you know they're going to give it to us because they we're, they knew that we yeah, need this, this <laughs> dietary really. daily supplement. Um, I start off every day on an empty stomach with AG1, and I take my little vitamin D drops in there, and I never get... I'm very sensitive. I never get a tummy ache. I'm not saying this will happen for everyone. I'm just saying mm -hmm. for me, no tummy ache, no nausea, no nothing. It's a good way to start my day. I like to fast as it is. And it wow. makes me feel like, okay, I'm getting this in. I'm getting my vitamins in. See, I forget I'm no good with vitamins. 
So I'll be, it'll be five, six PM. Yeah. And I'll find myself thinking like, why do I feel so, so poopy all of a sudden? Mm. And then I'll see my gorgeous green canister sitting on the counter and I'll go, Oh my God, my AG one. I haven't done it. Yeah. This is not, people think I'm, we're like shilling out or whatever, like Wayne's world style or something. But like, we do not accept ads that we don't agree with or use. That's just really sad. They had to convince us. Yeah. To, to like, they, it was a, it was a mutual thing where they fought for us. And then we were like, okay, we accept because we have found it so physically beneficial to us and our terrible bodies with our terrible diets. You, you truly have the best sum up, which I'll do while you're gulping is you don't necessarily notice when you take it feeling any one, which way. However, when you don't take it, when you forget Oh, it's like, oh, wow, this is how I felt before this, huh? Yeah. This is my body has just been begging me for this one thing <laughs> this whole time. AG1.com. Athleticgreens.com slash hard lore. Hard lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get five. Five of these. Free travel packs of AG1. That's you five You go days. anywhere. You got your daily supplement with you. And? It's just a little powder. You pour it into this gorgeous bottle. Mix it in any bottle of water. Delicious. And you get a year's supply, which I believe is this whole tincture. Yeah. Of the D3 plus K2 vitamin. 600 vitamin servings in this little bottle. That's like two years, right? <laughs> Basically. So that's a liberal year. It is also what not time. What not. Oh, my God. I'm a believer. I'm obsessed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it, you know, four months ago. Five months ago, I didn't get it. Then we well, started just the doing concept it. was a little lost on it, right? Yes. Kind of got it's it's Twitch meets Cameo meets eBay. It really is. It is the it is the best place to buy and sell any kind of memorabilia, real realistically. Mm -hmm. Lars Fredrickson is on there. You know who else is on there? Brody King. My favorite person. <laughs> Dan Housen. All ego Ethan Page. Wow. Uh tons of people, you know, the tons of different products, toys, cards, games, mm -hmm. shirt uh, uh now it's the best place to buy and sell hardcore vintage memorabilia. Realistic. Yeah, of course. Shirts, vinyl. So Give be me. sure to join us at the end of every month. I think our, our policy is pretty much the last Friday of every month. Yeah. Is Hardlore Whatnot Day. It's the, it's going to be the only place where you can buy certain Hardlore shirts. Uh, you're, we, we're going to always have old stuff from our bands and our friends' mm -hmm. bands, records, rare stuff. You can come, you can bid, you can hang out, and you basically watch a two-hour-ish live mm -hmm. hard lore episode that is never seen again. Mm -hmm. And we have we typically do around ten items each, so that's a lot of stuff you can get. We do giveaways, we do all kinds exactly. of stuff. So uh, click the link in the description for fifteen bucks off your first purchase, and it's also Manscaped time, baby. Pew. We've we been scaping men for oh. months now, <laughs> we, and we got our packages coming. I can't wait. Oh, that body wash. That's a body wash coming. I'm staying thick as thieves with the crop yeah. preserver. And yeah, the you're revived. preserved and I'm revived. Yeah. I'm I I'm living deliciously since <laughs> since Manscaped came you into my life. You know? Black Phillip living it's, life. That's me, man. I smell the great. Tasty butter. I smell yeah. good. I'm like balls are barely balls, you yeah. know? Might as well be my elbow at this point. <laughs> It's all one thing, and that's thanks to Manscaped. So I, use code Hardlore for twenty percent off plus free shipping. Yes, I was just gonna say I, we, you know, we kind of have a golden ticket. I've tried a myriad of products. I've yet to f even find a thing where I'm like, yeah, huh. like everything. I'm like, oh, this smells great. <laughs> like every, every single time. Manscaped product that we get sent is like, yeah, I could use this forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, I so. could keep this in stock for the rest of my days on mm -hmm. Earth. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you feel the same. And, you know, we're, we, our goal is to get you 20% off those things and free shipping. <laughs> free shipping. So you use code hard lore. You scape your man. If you, you know, you buy it for your partner, your ex, mm -hmm. if you want to fuck with him. You dad. Know? Your dad. I sent my dad an extra lawnmower that I, that I had gotten from Manscaped. Lord knows dad's balls be stanking. And this <laughs> okay. is the only remedy. Okay. Ball dad bows dad's <laughs> balls needed this, <laughs> and thank God his son has a podcast where he could make that a reality. I love you, Dad. 
<laughs> Back to the episode. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn. Yes. So this is number 15, right? This is the last of... Oh, for is me. it? I have one more after this. Yeah, you have one more because I went, you, right, right, I went right, first. Right. Um, so Turning Point are probably the best youth crew band mm-hmm. who then turned into like an alt rock band yeah. kind of by the end. And then every f- every one of those fuckers followed that pipeline till that. They just think yeah, that like yeah. you have to start as a youth crew band and then you have to just be a rock band. Yeah. I don't understand. Uh, the only one who really does it is Walter. Right. Cause, and and Richie, let's be honest. Yeah, but that's the guy. <laughs> that, dude. I had an Into Another song on here, but I realized it's not really like a... It's just a part I like. It's not really like a mom. Right. Um, God, Richie uh, is the fuck. He's the man. He's like the best singer of all time. He's the coolest. Richie, if you're listening. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about him in a minute. Oh, my God. Him. Oh, will we? Uh, oh, yeah. All um, right. So Turning Point to Lose mm. was a song that my, mine and Chris's youth group band used to cover a lot. Mm. And it's just got cool, like, harmonic things. I just, like, liked the song. But the intro was very... And that's another one where it's like... boom, boom, da, tick, 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 ga, goom, Yeah. Goom, da, tick, tick, tick. Like, it's very just busy. Just swagged out, yeah. It's not moshy, but sure. it, they're fucking actual musicians in that band. They were insane. Right. And it's just, like, interesting and cool. And it used to be, like, the part that mm. always went off for our sets. Honorable mention to uh, Broken. That was the other one I was going to choose. The bass lines. Not for me. Interesting. But, but for many, you know. Yeah, it's interesting to me that you're not a turning point guy because of your musicianship. You know what I mean? And, like, they are. They're a. Just miss me. A hardcore musician's band's band kind of right. thing. You know what I mean? Right. But I get it. You know what I like? <laughs> What's that? I like cave Well. You know? Oh, that's maybe big. why I'm not a big turning point guy. Ah, I'm, gotcha. I'm different. Uh, little song. This and here's they 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 did fucking hard band to alt rock oh, band pipeline, like, almost the most polarizing. And and there's I yeah. the, to me I listen to this record and I think they can't. There's no reason to do this again. <laughs> so yeah, make alt rock. The song is called Juggernaut. Mm-hmm. This is another one of those war crime type tracks, Bo. <laughs> like the things I've seen, the UN have since sanctioned. You know, like you can't do those things anymore to this song. Oh my God. And then around it is straight up like circus riffs. Yeah, it very strange. They ain't afraid to hit you with me. Because then they go, they'll fuck you up, dude, with that yeah. shit. And then that reminds they d- me of the the promise song that we talked about. That's a, that is a crazy riff, dude. It's a crazy riff. Crazy, but yeah, cave in juggernaut. Amazing. That's all it takes for me. Just do that. That's a good pick. I'm. Now, I'm really curious to see your top five. Oh, it's so dope, dude. All right. Here's here's mine. Um, I went originally with Zero Tolerance by Typo. Oh. Got a big act in the truck. Love that fucking part. Yeah. You know, I love that part. It's so, like, the the pickup part. It's fucking amazing. That would be, that's, I think that's what I said was my favorite Typo pit. And I think you did. The, the, oh, 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 specifically whoa, whoa, whoa. the live version. Yeah, the live version is unbelievable. unbelievable. Except I hate the accent. I love it. The English accent, I just don't like it. I love it. But we've established that. Yeah. Um, but I went with Gravity. Okay. Straight up um, Gravity? The breakdown to Gravity. Dun, 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 dun. No, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. The, uh, oh. And I got and a problem, a problem with yeah, that's a un, and then the barrel, whoa, 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 back into the skank part. I mean, hey, you're preaching. No, I know you're preaching know. to the and, circus, brother. And that's <laughs> that's probably tight or um, twitching tongues covering that, and that being out on the sleep therapy re release yeah. like, is what mm. reignited my realization of how incredible 
It's a perfect that song. song. That's the song a, that made me a fan of my favorite band. Yeah. No, that's dude, how good it is. You know, love you to death was the one that did that. And then gravity was the one that was like, Oh, I, Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was like where I realized like, Oh yeah, he did write fucking, yeah. uh, agnostic front songs. Yeah. Like, Oh yeah. Oh, that was the sick where I was fuck, like, man. Unbelievable. Good shit. It's Grab yeah. It. I'm, I mean, that's a I would that's like a pick I wouldn't have thought to make, but that that counts. If I ever got, I mean, obviously it'll never happen. I don't want it to happen. Yeah. But if I ever got a chance to see Typo with Peter, and, you know, yeah, and they played all of that song, oh, that yeah. would be my war crimes, mm. like where I just wouldn't be able to stand still. See, I was like the Carnivore AD thing at this is hardcore the one year. Yeah, I was in the pits the whole time. How was it? It was badass because it was, was like it? even even if it's even if I don't, it's not a different guy. I'm still seeing a cover band of like songs I'll never get to see otherwise. You know, I got you. Did they play typo songs or was it only no? Carnivore? It was all carnivore, so I was kick whooping ass. Dude. <laughs> Didn't they get a guy who kind of like looked like, he looked like him? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he shouted out. He was like, you know, we're all here because of Pete Steele. So like, shout out Pete. I mean, that's dope. You yeah, know, whatever. It's fun. It? It's all fun. Yeah. Uh, so we before this is my last pick before our top five, our re top oh. five. Oh, did we go out of order? Because that, that was my number five. Yeah, I told you I had one more. That was your number five. <laughs> yeah, sorry. so I'll do my it. next one and then I'll go into my number five. Yeah, okay, perfect. Right before my top five, the best, maybe aside from Caven, <laughs> like <laughs> from that era, like New England metalcore band. Yeah. Who like the new wave of metalcore that started like Kill Switch, Shadows Fall, all those before them was a band called Overcast. Oh, the song is called Seven Foot Grin. <laughs> <laughs> and before the cor- the chorus of this song is just an insane pit part, mm-hmm. and like. I don't know it. I don't know the song at all. We all know like it's the Brian, the singer of Shadows Fall, sang in Overcast. Yeah. And like he has a legendary, insane voice. Mm-hmm. And before the chorus of the part, he the music stops and he just says, As I grip your neck and twist. Oh. And the and it just comes in and it sound it's insane. And then they eventually re-recorded the entire thing. And it's mm-hmm. just it's like maybe better for the first time ever in the history of re-recordings. Wow. Yeah, that does not happen. Uh, overcast. So many tracks that I was like, how the fuck did I not put Overcast first time around? Do you know how many people I'm about to put onto Overcast with this pick? I'm about to put you on. You're going to listen yeah. to this and be like, this is the shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't so, know the song. Good God. <laughs> so seven foot grand. So I'll go into my number five now since you just did yeah. yours. My number five. Only Living Witness. Ha- yeah. I think I said on the previous one, like, how is that not on there? But because please. because I had I would have had to pick one pit, you know. Yeah. But when I put my brain to it, this was an easy. Okay. Voice of disrepair. What's the part? With the fucking dude, the a ra- a vibra slap is yeah. Marauder and Only One Witness and me have made the vibra slap. <laughs> It is, a, it is a tool of war, dude. It is yeah, a, it is a signal of battle. It's like the dark brother of a China. It is. Like, it's yeah. it might as well be an 808, but like scarier because it's like an 808 is just like oh, it's a breakdown. A virus slap yeah. is like oh my god, a snake. There's a snake. Yeah, and that, that's why I might <laughs> die. So I better start killing. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. this to me is the, is like a band who is like kind of peripherally moshy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like the songs are are hard all the way through, but the moments aren't necessarily like, oh, this is the yeah. part to kill. This is the fucking part to kill. This is the like, part to kill. Like, Nineveh's got one. The yeah. December's yeah. kind of hard the whole time. The whole time, dude. But this part, this, like, and as the, of the singular the pit part. The title track, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole, mo- you've moshing the yeah. whole time. The entire- but Voice of Disrepair Pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Game over. It's a great part. And the Viber Slap is is insane. fucking insane and when they reunite that's the thing is like like the the way that i had to participate for loa at fya you know was like yeah. okay i 
I've been stealing from them. I've been doing their thing for 15 years. I have to show them respect. I, I owe them club dues. I, I owe only living witness dues at this point. <laughs> so, like, when they play this part, I'm sure it's going to be me and some 50-year-old men stabbing each other. <laughs> and I accept. I accept that that's yeah. how it's got to end, you know? Yeah. Wow. What's number four? Number four for me... Um, is by Underdog. Wow. And this one has has like a story. It's very nostalgic for me. Underdog rocks. Mm -hmm. Underdog. Did Richie's unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> Underdog. He's got. Not even his best band. You know what I mean? Like think about that. Scientifically picking, true. Yeah. You know, I love Underdog. Um, and I love I I've as we've often said, if you skip the reggae shit on Bad Bands oh. record. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, I love the reggae shit. I love the reggae shit. Song's called Mass Movement. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. It starts off reggae, yeah. goes into a hardcore song. Dan, dan, dan. We'll dan, dan. Like, it goes into that. That's pretty good. Hey, thank you. And then goes <laughs> back into the reggae part. Yeah. After the fast part, right? Underdog played Burning Fight Fest um, at the Metro a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was like oh five or something. Yeah, something like that. No, no, I was out of high school. Maybe. It was like oh eight, burning seven oh eight or nine, oh, wow. like around then. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I have the fucking poster on my right. wall. But, um, but anyway, they're playing. They're doing. They're, they're they're playing. Richie sounds fucking amazing. Of course, he's got voice. He's literally up. God. I don't know. Yeah, it's literally incredible. And I I'll never forget. I was on the balcony watching. I had gotten my eye busted during ringworm, so I was like afraid. Uh -huh. I had like a huge shiner and I just, whatever. So I was like watching and I'll never, I vividly remember people preemptively skanking to going back during into the, the reggae? reggae park. Oh, okay. Wow. No, going like into it, like knowing that it was coming uh -huh. and people were just like dancing. Yeah. It wasn't like hard, but it was just like, Oh, like I had a mass movement, like, <laughs> like moment. I had sure. a mass moment where I was like, Holy shit, like, I get it. I yeah. understand why this all fit together. Yeah, like, the, everybody gets that everybody's on the same page. The coolest. Sure. Yeah, agreed. And then Killing Time played, and it was fucking unbelievable. Uh, yeah, bloodbath, I'm sure. Uh, okay, my number four. And I've had a bit of a renaissance with this band. Ooh. Lately, there was one episode where we talked about Leeway, and it was like, yeah, like, I love Leeway. I just don't, like, actively listen to it a lot. Yeah. You know? I had Leeway on here briefly. And then I put Desperate Measures on just, just to be like, like, do I still love this? Yeah. Good God. <laughs> Boy, do I. Do I ever. The song, <laughs> my number four, is called Stand For. And the reason this part hits so hard is because it is otherwise a mm. completely melodic song. It might as well have been, like, a radio rock hit. Right. This the verse is like doom get down to gonna doom get down to gonna yeah, yeah, doom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about it. Uh very melodic chorus and it everything halts mm -hmm. and then you get a big fill into dun 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 and like for no other no reason sense, than just yeah. like we're a hardcore oh yeah, for, you you forget by the way. forget we're a hardcore band. You got you have to kill to this. Yeah, I and that like the context of this happening in like a kind of regular rock song, is what makes this stand out is so fucking hard. Like it was unexpected mosh part I could have put, you yeah. know, you could put fucking rise and fall intro or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the single hardest leeway breakdown, scientifically speaking. <laughs> Purely science. Purely science. It's great. Um, what's next? Ah, two, I have, my next two in a row are just, like, some of my most formative bands that I can't believe were omitted. My next one is the formative band. Yeah, okay. Little band called No Warning. Oh, wow. <laughs> that we just, like, and they have a lot. There's so many. And I have talked about it, but it wasn't, I double-checked, it wasn't on the list. My favorite No Warning song is No Time For You. Uh-huh. I love when the, it's it's after the first verse and it's no time for down now 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 
It's a little slower on the record. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. It just made it. I, rem- I remember thinking like, oh, wait, this is this is a, a poignant point to what we're talking about is like, oh, this is a part that you can mosh to that isn't the mosh part. Like that isn't the breakdown. See, and that like, so that's like like I almost have a beef with that mm. because of like I love no warning. You know, I yeah, love yeah, them. Yeah. And like, again, I, I, I knew what they were doing while they were doing it. And because I liked what they, I liked all the things that they liked. Right. They got so many people into those things, but no warning started this era uh, to me. And mm-hmm. again, I say this out of respect because I love, I celebrate the whole discog yeah. of bands not wanting to be too hard. You know? Oh, but then they give you the dead. They do. No, dead. they do. They all the time they do. But I, but, I but some bands wanted to be no warning so bad I got you. that they never actually did full like do got to do, 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 do. you know they did like do mm-hmm. got to do got to like that yeah. was as hard as they got. I got you. So no warning was was the only one of those bands that I think ever made it work. The rest of them Shame on you for <laughs> forever wanting to do this. You know, I don't. I, there's nothing Dang. I hate more than a half hard band. I know what you mean. And I and again, like like typo created some of the worst dog shit ever uh, mm-hmm. by association. You know, mm-hmm. like the runoff of of any of that, the worst dog shit ever. Mashuga bands that want to be Mashuga, worst dog yeah. shit ever. You know, dude, think about how about bands. Think about what um, Roots did. The bands that want to be Roots, the worst dog shit ever. Or like the first Soulfly record. So it's it's crazy. It's weird to think about. Yeah. You hear No Time for yeah. You, you go like, Yo, this is fucking hard. This song's incredible. Yeah. yeah. And then any band that tries to do it is just so pathetic. Interesting. Very interesting. Good point. But I don't want to reduce No Time for You because no, no, no. Because you I mean, see, like at we just saw them do this at fucking. Yeah. Disturbing the peace, and to this day, it's like God damn, God damn, it's Dude, like I, a hammer. I, that part is unbelievable. They, uh, I Dude, almost my picked, world. The fact, actually, you know what? I didn't pick scratch the skin off of suffer survive, and that's yeah. actually cr- now that I'm thinking about it, that's actually crazy. Mm-hmm. So it just goes to show you that like my go to part is like oh this part. There's it on, was, on anything they've put out. There's a part you could pick that. Yeah, yeah. Like my world on the first one mm-hmm. is iconic. And again, that's one of those things you hear that and you yeah. go, yo, no warning is the shit. And then you yeah. hear bands do the no warning thing and you go, stop doing the no warning thing. Yeah. yeah. It was so crazy how unique they were by wow. doing all these things that like they were an amalgamation of all these things that already existed, but were so yeah. unique to it's crazy. Wow. Great band. And that just goes to show like. That's a landmark band of an era for those reasons. You just kind of blew my mind. Bands that come around and change shit. Yeah. And that should not be should not be uh, replicated or attempted. Can't, it cannot be done. So don't Hit do me. it. So my number three, the first hardcore band I ever heard, the first hardcore song I ever heard, this was the first moment of music in my life that i remember mm. grimlock mountain of power wow this the intro to this song is the first music i remember hearing in my life <laughs> that can't be true it is true like like when i think back i don't remember hearing other things like it was it would just be on peripheral i didn't take an interest in music until i took an interest in this you know Oh, okay. I was literally I was five say, or like, six. You've seen Willy Wonka, like you've no, heard. No, no, yeah, of course. I was five yeah. or six years old, so it was like you. Star Wars theme yeah. and Grimlock Mountain of Power. <laughs> Your iPod at the time, yeah, been. was it would have been Ghostbusters Aladdin. theme, <laughs> Star Star Wars theme, Grimlock Mountain of Power. I was so young, and like, and that's the thing is, people are confused. Like, I, people are confused when I say I got into hardcore via hardcore. Yeah, because I heard it first. It was like the first thing that stuck with me. Obviously, I took some different paths after that, checking out fucking Linkin Park and shit after, because that was just that was what was on and popping. Yep. yep. Um, and our boss's Slipknot came around at a very formative time. 
Mm. But before all that was Mountain of Power. Like the mountain and, and like going back to every single domino in my life, the the main one that led to me sitting in this chair talking to you mm-hmm. is Grimlock Mountain of Power. Taylor That's Young. Cra- yeah, it's crazy. Taylor Young hearing it via Matt Grippo living it in our older brother's car, and Taylor Young needing to be like, Colin, listen to this. Who? Is is the is hard lore. You know, that's wow. it. I don't think it's on Spotify. Oh, or bummer. So that'll be, it, it'll, it'll be impossible to put it on here, but the, the ruckus cover of it is, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll throw that on there, yeah. Yeah. Right. Amazing. What's your number that's three? A, uh, I love that story. I, I, I wonder, you you are surely one of very few who can say something like that. Who got into that hardcore got into hardcore? hardcore? Through hardcore, yeah. Yeah, and that's like, like it, people are like, don't trust a, a hardcore kid that like didn't get into punk first or whatever. But I didn't have the option. Yeah, I you, heard you punk found second. A <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I heard yeah. punk after I heard Grimlock. You got so into punk like fifth. <laughs> fifth, yeah, and then and then, whenever you tell somebody from New England, like, yeah, Grimlock is one of my favorite bands, they'd be like, what? What do you mean? Really? Why? Uh, but now, now they're 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 you know people people know Grimlock people fuck with Grimlock. I see the shirts out. I see the bootleg shirts out there. I got the real one. Um, <laughs> Is nice. Taylor has had songs of self at gmail dot com. His entire like yeah. like the second Gmail went up, Taylor was like, better get songs of self. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't we, email Taylor. Don't man. email. No, I mean if you hit him up if you got if you want inquire about a yeah a recording. Yeah, a recording. But other than that, leave him alone. Right. Songs of self next. Dot com. Yeah, what's your <laughs> next? What's your number two? Yeah, and my number two. Uh, very formative indeed. Okay. Carry on off my chest. Oh, my God. That's how you want it. Skin it, stand it. You fucking Woo. got this song. Much like a PG-13 movie. Yeah. Where you can say fuck one time. Carry yeah. on established this rule that like fast straight edge bands could have one big, like kind of dumb mosh part, you know? Dude. Is is insane in any context. Of yeah, yeah. It's so fucking hard. It's so awesome. Yeah. Carry on is so fucking awesome. A life less plagued is so important to me. Yeah. Oh, same. One, and, and that's like one of the most covered in California on, in that oh, time. I've seen that oh. covered as much as you've seen fucking like where Eagles dare or something, you know? No shit. Like people be covering off my chest. Like they'd be covering minor threat. Yeah. And every time was like, fuck yeah, they're doing it. I mean, I got to get in there. I fucking, I love that record. It's actually, it was actually hard to pick apart mm. for this record, but like, when I saw when I was going through Spotify and it was like oh, similar bands and I was like oh carry on and then it was just like oh <sighs> you see the words and you're like oh well that's, that's it, that one. though you said that and I had like goosebumps yeah yeah one of I, I forgot to say when I said the floor punch song no exceptions I literally have no exceptions dash floor pun floor punch in parentheses chills because while I was listening to it I got you. Isn't that awesome? That so it's I again V-Bets. like like we did with V with volume one. I did the same thing before putting all these on my list. Yeah. And I made sure I got the feeling from them. You know? And every time I got the feeling. Um, Dude. Yeah. So carry off on. my chest is unbelievable. unbelievable. Great pick. Amazing pick. Holy Thank shit. You. God, that fucking part. Okay. <laughs> We're getting down to the wire here. Dude, I just realized that during sorry, during that part. He says fuck in every lyric. That's how you want, it. How you want it. You fucking got it. Off my fucking. At least yeah. it's fucking off yeah. my fucking yeah. chest. That's bad. I mean, he's pissed, man. He, the best. He's got to get it off his chest. <laughs> Listen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Vintage TXJ, dude. Oh, the man. Yeah. Uh, the my, my number two, a modern classic. Ooh. You ready for this? Yeah. This, I think this this is a, a hardcore part that will be covered far beyond the lives of any of the members of the band. I think they did it. 
the down presser intro. Ah, uh, yeah. After part one, I saw comments that it wasn't on there. And even I was like, how could I do that to my yeah. boys? You know? <laughs> yeah. Because, again, like, down, down presser is... I, I feel like Dan and I have had these moments where each other is playing, mm-hmm. where, like, Twitching Tongues will be playing or down presser will be playing. And, like, w- the other will be, like, singing along or participating in some way. Mm-hmm. Where, like, our, our minds are in such dark places at these times. Mm-hmm. But we lock eyes on each other in these moments and have these this like like this visceral feeling of like, all right, I got I got Dan. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like he's always got me when down press was playing. He's I know all of them fucking words, all them big old words, all <laughs> them thesaurus.com ass lyrics. <laughs> but aside from those, this needs none of that because the down presser mm-hmm. intro is pure fucking mayhem. It's, every time there's there's something so cool about like it happened a lot with um plexiglass gate when we would see when we talked to other people at the fest when we talked about the fest afterwards and people would be like oh they play plexiglass you know what i mean um there's something so cool about the one like the one song that yeah. a band has where it's like oh they played it and like of course they're gonna play the intro. Yeah, yeah. Don Press is gonna play the intro. But like I love the cue. <laughs> of like, here you go. Here it is. Dun, dun, and then everyone like, dies. Ah! You yeah, hear yeah. woo every time. A thousand times. A thousand yeah. woos per down presser intro. What uh, did they what was the one sound of fury thing they did where they played the intro and then played a song and then played the intro again? I think, yeah, I think they it was like intro. A not, somebody got KO'd, played a song, played the in, played intro and the song, and then stopped. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> That's fucking badass. Yeah. All right. All right. What's your, num- number, what's one. B- your number one? This, is, this one's a little out of the box, but it's really not. This was one of the h- most listened to, watched, popular breakdowns of all time. Of the 90s dominated it's one of the heaviest parts ever and it is um introed by a, some of my favorite lyrics that go a boom dap da, mm, dap da, ipa. are you serious the freak on a leash breakdown oh my god dude don't listen really listen to, there's a key change i wish i had like a clown honking sound i could dude that's ridiculous me. it is so fucking heavy I don't care about corn. I accept mm-hmm. if you're not into that. Are band. you talking about? And then it goes. Then there's a key change where the something is mm-hmm. lower. Dun, uh, it is. Dun, dun, uh. It's so fucking heavy. Sonically, it's incredible. I see you looking around and just like. Do- but here's like, the thing. Like my my number one pick for this is like as wacky as that in a different way. Okay, so that's I'm not fine. I'm not judging you. It's just not my. Not I, I, my sweat. I understand, but I guarantee you there are going to pe- be people who are like I'm with Bo on this. Well, of like, course there are. That part, if you if if you're shaking your head right now, pause this very briefly. Go listen to that part. You're gonna get. I mean, the, the, turn it up. I'm put sure your headphones on. Ninety. I'm sure ninety percent of people listening to this are like, yo, the guy that. Put all the floor punch songs and the turning point song ended his list with fucking corn. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. My top five is not necessarily in order. I would oh, not put freak mine was freak 100%, 100% in order. Okay, my mine wasn't necessary. I would not put freaking leash over gravity, you know what I mean? But I wanted that's not a what surprise. you said. <laughs> okay, you wanted yeah, a gimmick, so you wanted a gimmick. I just finish. wanted so I wanted one to go wow, but you did me, you hit me with a dusty roads finish on this on this top five here. <laughs> Freak on a leash. Baby. Okay. What do, you, what do you got? Give me what? I don't even know if you know this song. Okay. I don't do you, even know you if... heard Freak on a Leash? <laughs> yeah, no, I have. I don't know that anybody knows this song, you know? It's... Okay. In some circles, it's legendary. In many, it's... It is a very acquired taste, you know? Okay. The band is from Germany. Okay. They're called World Collapse. Oh, dude. 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the dude. song. Another is, amazing vocal uh, guest spot. A Scott oh, Vogel continue. guest spot recorded into a MacBook. Dude, I was literally thinking about this just the other day. I'm sorry. Talk about the breakdown. We'll get into that. Because I guarantee you're right. I bet you people don't know about this band. This is. I'm about to put some motherfuckers on to world dude. collapse. And let me tell you about this part. It's <laughs> this man is like. Madball meets Depeche Mode is the I would say those two and then plus like him kind of yeah you know but I think that they I think the Depeche Mode stuff covers that you know Mm, the voice and stuff like the uh how how you know you know um the the Oh, God. Dude, that's another insane pit. Um, They got got pits, man. But Second Life is a journey. Yeah. Um, Scott Vogel sings the second verse. He recorded it into a MacBook. What's a God? I don't know what he's... It's like peak Vogel. It's crazy, yeah. Like, his voice sounds so good, sang into a MacBook. And just wasn't it just like... I think he was just on the bus. Like, yeah. Just recording the part, but the the breakdown of this song, yeah, is has so many like layers and pieces to it, and like key, the key changes like three times. It's like key change, key change, key change. That's so hard to pull off. Uh, that's Beyonce. That's fucking. It's straight up like not the one for you. <laughs> it's it's some straight up like like people who have pulled this off. Whitney Houston, World Collapse. That's it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Um, this is not to me. I'm not trying to like do a gotcha with a deep cut here. No, no. This is a song that I cannot listen to one time. Yeah, I have to listen to it five times and rewind this part and just laugh. I I listen I. <laughs> I literally listened to the vocal, the vocal spot. Like, it's like perfect. And it's a he fucking sounds Mac. so fucking It good. sounds it's... so fucked up and awesome. Um, and the song is just like, you're going to be listening to this like, what the fuck? Yeah, is where did this come? Because they did kind of, I remember when it came out. I want to say that when it came out, I was already into Suffer Survive. So I, uh. I like got it. You know what I mean? Like there was like a, it was already that bridge was already there for me and they were just like the weird euro because wh- what bands were they in prior to, to world Club? i think maybe some some like, like true blue, blue or something yeah like some of those do like the kitzel squad kitzel would know kitzel who was who was who, who yeah. was in world clubs the if ice or something like it was, no not it was, to do the ice is badass yeah i know the ice was one of those bands where when we played with the ice a few times and I like ended up talking to them being like, dude, I love you guys. And they were like, they were like, Americans come here and say that all the time. I don't believe you. <laughs> and I was like, I'll buy a shirt right now. So I bought a nice <laughs> shirt. And I wore it the entire tour just to be like, I swear to God, I fuck with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but World Collapse is. It's like, it like straight a, up, a super it's, group. It's, right? it's kickback World Collapse in terms yeah. of European hardcore to me. Mm, interesting. And they're still they still got tracks. They might be coming back with a new lineup soon. I might know a little bit about it. Mm. I might be able to tell you more soon. If you if you <laughs> catch my drift. You look fucking ridiculous. Um but this fucking part. Yeah. It's awesome. And again, you might put it on after this and be like, Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Yeah. But you'll listen to it again, you'll still be thinking about it. Yeah. And then the layers will finally click and you'll You'll, you will not, you like, I can't wait to spin kicks this someday. I and guarantee I've been you'll have the fucking only, you'll have that only hook in your head. the heavens know. Now. And the drums are fake as fuck and awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. Are because they fake? They're programmed? For sure. They, the oh. downbeat, they do, and I know like a guitar player program these drums because the Chinas are always on the downbeat. It's like, dun, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and I yeah. think that makes it really unique. Like the heavens one, the dun 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 dun. It starts with China, and I think only a guitar player would think to do that. You know? Yeah, interesting. That's very interesting. That was fun. 
corn. <laughs> Corn and world collapse being the 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 one and one are, are uh, a real real uh, view into the the insanity that is that is this show and the beauty should that we, is this show. Should we look at some some user submitted ones, some comments, and just I, see? I if suppose last time just, I I was so glad that we didn't because I was like I'm just gonna have to be mean to them. I don't. What if we only address the ones that we go? I can't believe I forgot. Okay. Does that work? Sure. Should Let's see what the, people. The Instagram. Let's see what people say. Let's see what the folks are saying here. Good God. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Here we are. Comments. 173 comments. It's a lot. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Disembodied bloodshed rain. Tons of tons of tracks. Mine would be, I think, seven stitches is the, the disembodied track. Down 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 That's a hard ass part. Oh, this is gonna make you sad, Colin. How can it happen by warning? I think I don't know how can it happen. <laughs> okay. It's not I don't on. I don't know. I'm bad with song titles. Yeah, that's not. Um, oh, dude, someone said "All in a Year" by Comeback Kid. That's a very good. That was formative for me, yeah. for sure. When I it was on the demo, and when I got the demo, yeah, you couldn't believe that demo. Huh? I couldn't believe it. That's a good one. Someone said Slayer of Angel of Death, but we already said. Slayer. Yeah, we already said. Sl I think we both did. We both put Slayer. I put Ghost of War for sure. I, don't I think might not have put Slayer. I don't think you did. Wow, yeah. Volume Three, I get to put Slayer. That's fun. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Ragman, my world. Dude, Ragman has tons of parts on that record that could qualify. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Dude, that part. Super group. <laughs> and then it picks up. Woo! Ragman record. And then they Check cover the territory by yes. fucking Sepultura, and it's perfect. Just to flex, like, hey, here's what you could have had, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, exactly. Yeah. It's so good. Um... Dillinger Escape Plan. I don't know Dillinger Escape Plan very well. I'm not a big Dillinger guy. I like the Mike e Batten Floater. songs. Somebody said Earth Crisis, but we already did that. Yeah, you already did it. Bad Seed Worldview. That oh man, <laughs> I would put a, I would, if I were to put a Bad Seed song, it would be Real Rain Pours. Yeah, same. But dude, when they did it live down, and Rifkin yeah. did the last part on the crash, yeah, he would hit the bum 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 god and dun dun cut it and yeah, insane. Uh, that's that's straight up like that's a just a. Quality, mm -hmm. mosh bar. Bad seed had a serious grip. Oh yeah, just like they had everybody. They would, yeah, they had everybody. Because it was just yeah. title fight playing mosh part. So it was like with, everybody with being Sam like, "Oh, these yeah. kids were obsessed with also do mosh," <laughs> and they got the they got the they got the guy that ripped up my textbook and and shoved me in a <laughs> locker in school. <laughs> Say, I ever tell you about booking? No. <laughs> Say, would be booking? like. Yeah, in high school we did we were booking, which meant just knocking people's books out of their hands. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Called it booking. Booking. Like the big bully from my high school is writing all the songs for the title fight mosh band. That's crazy. Did you have a kickback song on the last? Yeah, last Forever War was on there. Okay, yeah. Someone said that. I was just making sure. Terror Av. Yeah, that's they're in the underrated bands category for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Dude, somebody said um, Unearth, and we there was actually a lot of Unearth the, the last time, but like a lot of people. Being they like, kind of missed believe. me a little. I'll be they honest. missed me too. Yeah. yeah, same thing. We toured with them, like they did Warp Tour on the same time as us, mm -hmm. and like I watched them, and they have parts. For they sure. got ton, tons of parts, but like yeah. I was already an Overcast guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, bum, bum, bum. Hope Con. Someone said Truth and Purpose. Oh God. Earth Mover, two depths by nails. Is that uh? Bow, 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 na, 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 bow, that bow, isn't that bow, come bow. soon, come quick, come. No, that's <laughs> bow. I think depths is down. Oh, off of Unsilent Death. Un last song on Unsilent Death. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that part dude. is fucking hard, dude. That back at back in um at that time too, when John would just like 
<laughs> like over ah, every over part. that. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. So awesome. Yeah. Um <laughs> somebody said where that slime be at. Yeah. Don't where that slime be at by Morbid Angel was on mine. Uh you said suffocation on the last one, right? Yeah, I can't put suffocation. Somebody mm. says suspended in tribulation. Somebody said liege. Oh, liege is fucking hard. Yeah. Mm. Somebody said AFI death of seasons. Does AFI have pit <laughs> They're talking about the Mortal Kombat part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do, does AFI have like? I think the closest part? thing would be like. Leaving Zone Part 2 because the music video. <laughs> no, it would be like the Fall Children Whoa part. You know, like Dude. that's a breakdown to me. I <laughs> love that. Song. I, yeah, me too. The All Hollows EP is fucking unbelievable. That's yeah, perfect. Um, let's see. Martyr AD, American Hollow. That's a good one. Is that I Am Inside of You? I think so. <laughs> 200 Stab Wounds, Itty Bitty Peeden. <laughs> Hilarious uh, title. Couple Crucifixions, Twitch and Tony. I love that. I mean, that's our least streamed song of all time. Really? But it's it's a, it's buried at the end of our least popular record. So why right. would you ever hear it? But the the crucifi- the crucifixion mosh part is like something Taylor and I spent weeks working on. So I'm glad that feels good. Mm. Yeah, it's, I mean it's literally getting. It's crazy. You know. <laughs> That's crazy to me. It's, you can check the stats. It's it's yeah. It is number last <laughs> on, on the stream. <laughs> I think uh, excluding like early Harm's Way stuff. Our least played song, I think, is the electronic song that Casey made on Post Human, The Gift. Ah, sorry, Casey. I think. Which is just like... My man's made a skip. Yeah, it sucks. The song is fun. It's sick, It's though. fucking awesome. And but we, yeah, we just, use it for an intro a lot. It's like a track to It's just not what the time. people wanted at the time, you know? Yeah. I've been there, yeah. brother. Tell me, Let me tell you what. <laughs> I got whole albums in Dead Last. <laughs> Our, our boy, Evan, who's surely listening, said Rise of the North Star. Evan, give it up with the Rise of the North Star. <laughs> he loves him. Give it a rest. Boy, does he love him. <laughs> um, dude, somebody said Asphyx, MS Bismarck, which yeah. is, it's hilarious that they have a song called MS Bismarck. But Asphyx, Scorbutus. Oh, yeah. Scorbutus. They That's got a, tons of pits. They got pit parts, for sure, that they need to be re completely re-recorded. For sure. Remixed, re-released. There's a, there's a, like Asphyx would have been a, a tough one for me to pick a single part. Nile would be a tough one to pick for me to pick a single part. Mm. There's a lot like a lot of death metal bands I look at, like like only Living Witness was hard for me. You know, mm-hmm. a, a foundational band for me was difficult to pull. So there's a, there's a lot of bands out there where it's just tough to it's tough to pick one moment and say that's the best. Let's see if the Twitter says anything in particular. I feel like that's I feel like we're gonna call it here, guys. You think so? Yeah, this is enough. Hammer somebody said hammer bros. That's funny. Hammer bros got some fucking parts. But that was uh best breakdowns ever, volume two. The playlist is in the description wherever you are listening to this. Thank you so much. This was uh, this was so fun again. It's the best. I could do this every day. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we the just, show was just listening songs. This every day. Just like, oh. And it's, yeah. it's so funny how, like, we last minute decided to do this. Yeah. And I was Both like, shit, times. man, I, I got to make a list. Yeah. And then once you get going, you, you just. Yeah. You got it. It's just fun. This is fun. This is yeah. like. It's, it's, it's funny because it's like a change of pace. But this is like what we're actually. Into. <laughs> this is what the van. This is like the van. You know, yeah, right. The van is is like telling stories and just listing songs to each other, and going oh, and the whole group being like, dude, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, but that's that's hard lore this week. Thank you all so much for joining us. We will see you next week with special guest Aaron Hurd mm. of Jesus Peace. Thank you so much. We will Thank see you, you next week. Bye. Bye.